I am geeking out right now, speaking Spanish. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> At Florida, not yeah. Flamingo. Flamingo. Hankaku. Sugoi. Jessica calls this the Bach store. <laughs> Boxes from a different seller. Oh my and so god! All different Isn't tiny. that awesome? Stores are so cute. Wow. It's like eBay right in front of you. Yeah! I'm just taking this French table. Yeah, Espanol! <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, the little things. Cutting and sun. <laughs> also, this is a really random question, but like, do you guys know where to get like a pillow to do? Just try it first. Chris, this is so super tiny. Mine is so big. Look at this. So nice. Can you shake it for me? Yes. <laughs> Only in Japan. Oh my god. Unicorn cushion. <laughs> kind of love him. You should get it. I mean, what do you do with You should that? get it. <laughs> so get it. <laughs> oh, he, he looks like your son. Yeah, my son. <laughs> you should get him. Hola, me llamo Sato, uh, soy de Tokyo, in Japón, and this is my YouTube channel, welcome. So for those of you who don't know, I have been um, studying Spanish by myself um, since last year, kind of on and off, and this year I'm really taking it seriously. I've been trying to drill like verb conjugations, and I've been going to meetups to practice my Spanish. I've been talking with people from Me Mexico on Skype. Um, and I feel like this time I have more confidence speaking in Spanish, so it's really exciting. So for January, I only have like little little snippets of videos of how my month went. So I decided at the end of that of that video, I wanted to film a January favorite since I have a few this month, or quite recently, I should say. So the first thing on my list of uh, recent favorites is my bujo. I recently became a bullet journalist. Um, I don't know if it's count as recently. I started in December of 2019, and so I decided um, to start it. I was inspired by Shay Barton. I've mentioned her name in my previous videos. I really in get inspired by her. I adore her. I love her YouTube channels. Um, her art is very adorable, and um, she also makes bullet journals videos as well and i love watching her youtube videos on it so i decided to try it for myself and now i love it so i got the same book as her as well this is a moleskin hardback uh, grid 
<clears throat> and I put her stickers on the front and the back. Um, so for my Bujo, I really like that you can customize it to make your own. I wanted a notebook where I can um, schedule my day and create a to-do task, but also journal in, in between here and there. Um, I've kept a journal since I was in fifth grade, so I love journaling about my memories. But over the years as I was growing up, I used to journal about every little tiny thing. And reading, um, reading it like in, right now, um, some of them are dark. Some of them are things I don't want to remember and I don't want to read about. Um, some of them are really boring. So I decided, <coughs> like, you know, um, I decided that. From now on, I will only journal about things that um, are happy memories and things I want to remember and things I do want to look back on. So that means I won't journal every single day. Um, so I don't need like a journal journal just for that. So I decided to create um, a journal space in my bujo. So whenever something happy happens or anything like that, I create a journal spread. Um, and this is my spread from when we got engaged in Seattle or like... There will be like a really tiny journal space in the corner when I met Fran um, last month. So things that are just happy and I do want to remember, or sometimes I'll journal in Spanish as well, I would write in here. I really love that I can have fun with um, being creative with my calendar spread, my monthly spreads and weekly spreads. But not too complicated where I am pressured that it has to look beautiful. It's for myself really, so that's my blue job. My next favorite on the list is um, this notebook that everyone, I feel like the artists or journalists in the Instagram community or YouTube community has been loving this notebook. It's the Midori MD notebook. And I've been kind of skeptical about this notebook and I was like, isn't it just like a plain old notebook? I will look at it in a stationery store and I'm just like, I'm not really buying it. Um, but I recently got it. I was like, why not? I'll try it because I kept going back to look at it and I was like, okay, I must want this. So I keep looking at it. So I did buy it and I'm using it as my language notebook. So um, I have a separate notebook for spaces like where I would write down grammar notes and like really specific things. But in here I journal like I have a weekly log. So I write down what I've been studying every single day so I can see a habit of mine. Like, oh, I need to do more reading practice. I need to do more speaking practice. I need to do more listening practice. I write down words or notes that I learned from watching YouTube videos. My favorite is Easy Spanish on YouTube. I really recommend that channel if you are learning Spanish yourself. Um, the the host of the show, um, he goes around in the city of of Mexico or Spain or any Spanish speaking countries, um, but mostly Mexico, and he would interview them um, in Spanish and what they think about anything. So it could be like, what do you think about about Spanish people? What do you think about um, different cultures? What books do you like to read? Anything it is. He um, creates weekly videos. I'm a patron of his, so I do get um, scripts that he um, makes for his listeners. And he also creates like a vocab list and verb list, which is really nice. In the video, he creates two subtitles. So one Spanish and one English, like right under each other, which is really helpful and cool. So I try to watch that a couple times. I would just listen one time. Second time, I would read the Spanish subtitle. And then the third time, Oh no, sorry. I do read the English subtitle first and then I just try to listen and then I try to read the Spanish subtitles or sometimes I'll switch around <coughs> and try to see if I really <clears throat> and to see if I really understand the, the theme uh, or the lesson of the video. It's really handy. Anyways, <laughs> this notebook I have been loving. Um, the paper is really plain, like it's just white but i do love how it feels when i'm writing on it and i love how clean and minimalist it looks um i've been kind of color coding things <clears throat> and yes i love it and i bought a cover for it because i was scared of it bending but some people don't use covers and that's totally fine <coughs> and i'm trying to create um like sticker collection here too okay the next on my list is um again connected to my spanish learning this is an app or a website called italki I have it on my phone and I also use it on the computer. It um, looks like this. I'll show you more. Um, and so basically this is, <coughs> excuse me, I'm a little bit sick still. Um, this is um, like an app for language learning. You can pick whatever language you're learning and then you can look for a tutor. Some tutors are professional teachers. 
which means their hourly rate is a little bit more expensive but even then i would say it's very like affordable like for example i see a teacher and he would only be like a thousand three hundred ninety two yen which is like thirteen dollars an hour um my favorite teacher is a community teacher which means they're cheaper her hourly rate is ten dollars an hour um but i do 45 minute lessons because an hour seems too long for me sometimes <coughs> um so for 45 minutes i only pay eight dollars and um she is always prepared like we would always um, practice communicating or speaking and listening in the beginning and then halfway through, she would ask me, what do you want to focus on today? And I would say, I want to learn about por versus para or que versus cual. So she's always ready to teach with a PowerPoint as well. And I would have exercises to practice the grammar points um, or different words that I want to practice. Really cool. And I print off her PowerPoints at the end so I can practice on my own as well. So I do um, lessons with her once a week, every Tuesday, um, which has been really helpful. And I really recommend it for language learners. Another thing I've been loving, um, this is um, kind of health related. I have been drinking lemon tea every single night. And I used to hate lemon. Like I would not want to drink lemon. I don't want to eat lemon. I don't want to see anything lemon. Um, I still don't like eating lemon cakes or lemon dessert or anything like that. But I do like lemon tea now. Um, it gives, you know, it's very healthy for you and mostly I drink it for the vitamins um, since it is uh, winter and everyone's getting sick, including myself. I drink a cup full of lemon tea with honey at night, every night, and it calms me down and I do feel like it has helped with my skin. It's way more clear um, now than before. And then a recent um, purchase of mine, again, this is, I feel like I see it everywhere in the artist community. It's the Delphonics Utility Pouch, and I got the size S, I think. Um, it's a great pencil case. I love the color. I had to get this color, so I had to like order it and then ask for it to be shipped to the store that I go to. Um, very cute, very useful, very big, and I can carry on all the pencils in here. I love it so much. So this is my go-to pencil case now. <laughs> and the last favorite of mine recently, and this is a recent purchase I got this last weekend, is the Google Nest Mini. I love this so much. I call it my boo-boo, my goo-goo. Um, so my best friend Ashley, I, I sleep over her house occasionally, and she has a Google Nest Mini as well. And before I was very like, I don't know, skeptical of it. I was like, why would people want a speaker that talks to you? Like, I don't need it. <laughs> and then I stepped over her house and we kept playing around with it. And she would show me all the cool things that you can do with it. Um, and I researched more and there's tons more. And I told her about it too, um, that you can do with it. You can ask any questions. It, you can also like, <coughs> you can also ask like, hey, what's this in Spanish? That's what kind of um, made me want it even more because it'll help with my Spanish learning. Um, and um, right now I have it set in Japanese and, and English. So you can speak to it in Japanese or English and I'll reply to you. So I have my parents like um, practice with it and they can ask for the weather the next morning. Do they need an umbrella? Stuff like that. I just love it so much. Like every morning I say, hey, good morning, Google. And it will tell me the weather. It will tell me the news. And then it will play some relaxing morning music while I get ready. And I think it's very useful i can't wait until i move to america so i could like buy the other stuff that so it could connect it to the tv and the lights as well so i can really control more uh get more out of this google nest mini for now i'm enjoying just listening to music and asking random questions to it and it just talking to me so that was my recent favorites and my january wrap up video um it was a kind of short but i hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you next time hasta luego